Hi everyone, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we're going to expand in this tutorial, we're going to expand a bit on the pivot tables and slicer tutorial that we uh, ran on in a previous video. I want to cover two um, really powerful uh, uh, data analysis techniques that you can apply inside a pivot table. One just is called a calculated field and the other is just simply adjusting all the uh, value field settings within the uh, pivot table that you already have to look at your data in different ways and to help you get more uh, information and analysis out of it. So uh, where we left off, we had created a pivot table and uh, a slicer here. Now, what I want to do is, I, because I want to use the same material that we have, I'm going to make two copies of this. So we will just right click, select mover copy. Let's check out this little box here where it says copy down in the uh, bottom left hand corner here. And select OK. There we go. I'm going to name this tab Pay because we're going to calculate a 5% commission rate for these salespeople. And I'll go into detail on that a little bit later. Now let's go back to our original worksheet again and create one more copy. So I create copy and I'm going to call this one Comps because we're going to do some comparisons using the same data. Okay. Let's jump right into it. So now we're on the pay tab. And for this feature, we don't need the slicer. So I'm just going to uh, remove that and delete it. Okay, so what we've got here again, um, the company's got some information. This was our sales from last month. We have a list of all our products here. Across the top, we have all our salespeople's names. We've got Andrew and Ann and Janet and so on and so forth. And then below them in the column, beside, uh, you know, just across from each product, we can see what their total sales were for the previous month in each of the products. So they get paid a commission rate of 5% of their total sales. Now, we could go in and manually insert columns after each of their names, put in a, you know, a column heading, format it to match what we've got here, and then put on the formula. We can do all that. It's a lot of extra work that we don't need to do. We can create something with a couple of clicks have the rows automatically insert with the headings we want and the formula we want. Sounds almost too good to be true, doesn't it? All right, so let's try this. So first of all, you just need to be uh, highlight any cell within your pivot table to get going on it. Then go up to the top of the screen here where we see uh, pivot table tools and select analyze. And then right below here, you'll see a button that says fields, items, and sets. So let's select that. And the first available choice is calculated field. This is what we want. And now there's only two things you need to do here. One, you need to name it. I generally like to keep my names as short as possible because those names will also be the column headings. And I don't want to have my columns all stretched out or having to wrap my text. I'm just going to call this pay. And then below, as with anything else that we do in Excel, we just put in a formula. Now this one's very simple because we're simply paying a commission rate equal to 5% of all their sales. So we'll put in equals, and we will now scroll down here in the fields, and there's sales right there. So we'll double click that to highlight it. So we've got equal sales, and then times 0 0.05, because it's gonna pay 5%. So before I hit okay on this, what's gonna happen here is this. As soon as I hit okay, it's gonna put a column after each salesperson, and it's gonna have a heading of, uh, there's some of pay, and it's going to multiply each of their sales categories by 5% and then even give us a total at the bottom. So let's see what that looks like. Okay. Yes, please. There we go. <clears throat> now, just to sort of minimize some of the data that we're looking at here, I'm going to just pick three salespeople. We'll pick Michael. Come here, Michael. And Margaret. And Anne. There we go. There we are. So this looks a little tidier. It's easier to... Um, to look at. So here's what we've got. We've got Anne. Here's all her sales. Now immediately to the right of that, we've got the sum of her pay. And each one of these amounts is 5% of the corresponding sales amount. Okay. And then we've got her total pay at the bottom. Same thing for Margaret. We've got all the uh, commission rates up from each of her products just to the right. And then her total commission rate for the month at the bottom. And then finally, the last two columns, we've got, of course, the total sum of sales of the uh, salespeople that we uh, selected and the total sum of pay. 
for all those folks that we selected and uh, the grand total at the bottom. So that quick, a couple of clicks, two, you know, two entries, and you've got some really, uh, you know, you've got a nice presentation and it's giving you exactly the details and the calculations that you'd want. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the uh, second item that I wanted to show you. Again, just another tool with inside the pivot tools in Excel. And I'm going to select this uh, column here that says comps. Now, once again, I don't need this um, uh, slicer filter, so we'll get rid of that. And what we're going to do here is right now we have uh, selected our pivot table to give us the sum of all the sales. So we have a list of you know, all our products the salespeople, and then the pivot table is looking at, for example, Boston Crab Meat and Andrew Fuller, and it's totaling up all the sales that Andrew Fuller made on that product. Now, we can analyze our data further just by changing the field settings. So once again, to do this, you just have to select any cell within inside the uh, pivot table, go up here to the top of your screen and select Analyze. Now let's go over here to the left, and you'll see it says field settings and right now we can see that it's set on sum of sales. So we're going to select field settings and we have two tabs. One is summarize value by and the other is show values as. So we're going to select the show values as. Now for this first example we want to have a percentage of row. So in other words each row, each product, the total will be 100% and then what we want to see is for this each specific product line, what percentage of the total of that product did each salesperson sell? So all we need to do here is just go over to the show values as drop down arrow and just go down, I think it's a fourth row down here where it says percentage of row total and click OK. And there we go, just like that. We've got everything we need. So again, so we look at, for example, let's look at, um, we can look at any of them really. Um, we can look at uh, this chain here. So Andrew sold 21%, Janet sold 32.9, Margaret 8.79, and then Michael 36.2 for 100%. So just like that, we can see the mix or who sold what percentage uh, of each individual product. Just want to, before we end this tutorial, I'm going to take it one step further. We'll look at similar data, but instead of looking at each individual um, item that we sell, we want to look at the percentage against based on the grand total of everything. So again, we just need to go up to our field settings, just like we did last time. Select our second tab, and let's hit that drop down arrow. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to change it to percentage of grand total. So it gives us even a little bit um, different information. Select OK. Now what we can see is here's our grand total 100% and then for each product we can see the total mix or the total you know what this product represented um, compared to the total. So you know for example Alice Font that was 8.17% a really uh, good product probably one of the highest here was this unit at 18.2%. And then as we go along the row, we can see again which salespeople sold that percentage of product. So again, just a couple of quick tools uh, inside a pivot table. Um, and I would, uh, I would suggest that you um, get really comfortable with these and um, play around with them, experiment with them. These are really valuable tools, will really make you a star at work um, if you can just very quickly, um, you know, take some data and come up with different ways of looking at it so that you can look at your business a little bit differently and get some, you know, extract some information that perhaps uh, you wouldn't have even thought of before. So I hope you found that um, helpful. And until next time, take care and we will see you soon.